panning the stereo. See the pan here? Panning means it goes from left ear to right ear. See how it says left and right? So the way to get that to work is you come over here under effects controls, because every time you want to change something, you have to turn on effects controls. And then I turned on the little stopwatch under balance here. And then I said, all right, over here, I want the panner to be negative 45. The next dot, I want it to be panned a different direction. The next dot, I want it to be panned a different direction. If you can't see your little waves in your audio like I see here, then you need to go under this little wrench and turn on expand audio tracks. That way you'll be able to see all these little squiggly sound waves. So now mine goes like back and forth from ear to ear. If you want to do that on your timeline, you can go down here. Let me show you where it is real quick. This is a, the kind of the frustrating secret button. See right here, this little one on the corner of each clip. It's really hard to find. I don't like it, but nevertheless, it is there. So if you right click it, you can add little dots to the level or you can work on the panner here, which I really like. I use that a lot. I can turn on balance. And now it's see how it's kind of doing what I had happening over here with my dots, my keyframes. It's starting up kind of on the left side. It goes down to the right side. There's a little R here in the corner. And then it goes back up to the center. And then I can also just click on it with control click and pan it back to the left and pan it back to the right. Pan that up, pan it down. So now it'll go right. And if I add one here and pan it up the other way, now it'll go left. So that's how you can make your stereo pan around like an old 1970s song. Use your pen tool, click, and it'll add a dot, and you can drag the dot. Click, drag the dot. And as I go through mine, I can see my little bars here. See my little uh, sound bars? sort of changing as it plays through. 